the plastics on fire. Welcome back to the gentleman's den. Would you mind not scraping that on there so I can pick it up over the microphone? Plastic so we'll be starting that over. All right, fuck it. We're rolling. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Here we go. Welcome back. I'm Sean. Left Frankie. Hi. Right Jeff. Some more energy, bro. What's right. up? You feel down? You get your ass beat in the the fucking Zyre Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> I did not get my ass beat, but I did have a good time. It was good to see those folks. It's been a hot minute. Since was I it a family a reunion? Yeah, basically. The only people that weren't there was my uh, one aunt and her husband. And I heard the word Olympics. Can I finish this? Jesus, you fucking interrupt. Hey. Knock, knock. Look who's really knock, tired knock. and cranky right now. Knock, knock. Who's there, Sean? Interrupting cow. Um, Moo. Inter- 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 yeah, <laughs> exactly. Interrupting cow who? <laughs> Set up the Moo. punch. I, I did. I interrupted you. So my, the only ones that were there were my aunt and my her husband because he just had a hip replacement and grandfather. This is all on my stepdad's side. So. Oh, but yeah, it was a good Bro. time. Good food, stupid games. But what'd you do for the games? <laughs> the first one was like we were my dad potato my, sack. Any no potato no potato sack? sack because they the teams were so off kiltered. Like my our side of the family's got five kids, so we're already fucking over the fucking top with people. <laughs> but uh, it was a bag toss. Like you're throwing bags, and it's just. Cornhole? For, yeah, cornhole. Uh, <laughs> that's what it's called. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, then there was, you know, the three-man slingshot where you two people hold it and the one person shoots it? Like the water balloon slingshot? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like a like a porno move. No. <laughs> the three-man <laughs> slingshot? <laughs> no, but do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so two people on the end hold it, yeah. and then the one guy stretches it out, yeah. and then he comes. Well, my aunt, <laughs> <laughs> twice. <laughs> so, w- <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Frank is on a, a spiritual journey right now through time and space. <laughs> how, was, how was the cosmos? It's, it's just... How is the cosmos? <laughs> what is? What are you guys shooting this thing at? You well, I, the story? I, it, it, I would complete the story if you weren't laughing like you just he fucking said got off coming. a seventh day meth bender. <laughs> <laughs> just, <All right. laughs> wow! Oh Jesus! I'm just getting my laugh out, bro. That wasn't a laugh. Frankie, look at me. Calm. <laughs> I can't take it. Cool, be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool. All right, we got it. What do you what do you shoot this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a lower back tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is there like a it butter was, tribal was, butterfly actually, on the garage? It was actually a giant cutout <laughs> of a lower back tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Said occupancy two in tribal. All right now kids, aim for the butterfly in tribal. <laughs> no, what it was was it was it was sponges. <laughs> <laughs> and you shoot them to your teammates, and they grab them and squeeze them into a bucket, and whoever fills up the most water in the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> but my brother-in-law, which I'll be honest with you, him and I, we get along, but we don't get along kind of family shit. Yeah. <laughs> fucking shot my sister right, <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right, right at the belt line. <laughs> right at the belt line. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Christ. At full, at full pull, full clip, full pull, and it. She was not happy. She was not happy at all about that. Oh, you that fuck, was fucking dude. funny. I wish I could have seen this. I wish I had it on video. Because <laughs> the look she gave him was like he just cut her fucking foot off and <laughs> threw it over the fence. Motherfucker, go get it. But it was it was funny in. Uh, 
then they we played like Farkle, which is like a dice game. Yeah. But they had like big yard dice. Then uh, blindfolded Jenga, which was interesting. Blindfolded huh? Jenga, huh? Yeah. It was like the bigger Jenga board. The, yeah. The bigger blocks. The bigger blocks. And then you spun around three times and had to. <laughs> then you fall over into it. Yeah. It's like <laughs> ultimate. My one my one aunt was a little little twisted. She was a little. Uh, <laughs> she, she ran up there and knocked it over like four <laughs> times purposely. <laughs> Which was we hilarious. Again. But, uh, and then we did like, you know, you put the balloon between your legs and the fastest gets there. Oh, and I forgot the shoe kick. The shoe kick? Who could fling their shoe the farthest? Oh, you just loosen it up and yeah, give, it a, give it a launch. A little punt. Yeah. Zach, uh, <laughs> Zach won it for our team. With the shoe kick? Yeah, the new balance flew real nice. <laughs> real so lightweight. No, no wind resistance. Had a nice. <laughs> oh, fuck. And then, uh, the guy that won it was one of my cousin's husbands or boyfriends or soon to be husbands. I don't know. I didn't talk to any of them. That guy. He just hung out by the buffet. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I remember uh, remember playing Louisville Chugger. Yeah. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, you chug a beer, and however many seconds it takes you to chug the beer, that's how many times you have to put the bat on your forehead and spin around in a circle. <laughs> And then someone throws your empty can at you, and you have to hit it. And if you don't hit your can, you got to chug it again. <laughs> and you keep going till you hit your can. A lot of people fell over. <laughs> what, you, what you do, too, you can also do with the Louisville Chugger is you buy the yellow bat. Yeah, the thin one. The thin one, and you cut the bottom off, and then you dump the beer in the bat. And then chug it out then of the chug bat. chug it out of the bat. Ooh, and innovative. the problem, the pro- yeah, the problem with that is if you don't rinse that bat out, <laughs> it oh, it gets skunky. That just Remember adds that to the flavor. Oh, that thing was fucking disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> that thing was never cleaned. Yeah, but you still funneled them down it. Well, you yeah, for to. months. Well, yeah, but alcohol, then it sat kill, alcohol in a kills. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, it had a nice it kills the mold, little, right? <laughs> yeah, not a little penicillin. <laughs> Keeps it healthy. Yeah, that was the healthiest beer bong you'd ever take. You. <laughs> <laughs> that was a badass beer bong. Though. What was that? A cat that just came out of there? No. It was <sighs> no. Yeah, there's fluffy. It was. It was a good time. It was Scruffy. Like I said, it was good to see all of them. We're gonna do it again next year. <clears throat> Fuck yeah, bro! Yeah. Get after it. This yeah. time, be ready. Practice. All right. Yeah. Now you know the games. Yeah. No, they're different games this oh, next year. Oh. But. You don't have a guy on the inside? No. <laughs> I I wish I did. I wish I did. <laughs> we should take live bets next year. <laughs> Over unders. Well, in, <laughs> in, 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 <laughs> in all honesty, the over unders on that should be which ant is gonna break her arm this year, which <laughs> Was everyone keeping it pretty much together? Or was there no, one aunt or uncle that was like, pah, pah. we left when we did because it was it was turning the corner. Oh no, they were tur- they were starting to turn the corner. Everybody was getting a little too familiar. Oh yeah, start talking like real close to you. Well, it's not just that. It's Back you know the fuck up. you haven't talked to this person in six years, and you start gunning on them. It's like oh no, it's like yeah, we're just gonna fucking back away now before you get lit up but i don't so need, i don't need to gun in on who i don't need to catch a case at a family reunion got a 127 shots fired mm. i'm gonna need backup <laughs> but like i said otherwise it was fun and actually they my one uncle said he listens and enjoys it so shout Ooh. out shout out to uncle todd yeah yeah our one uncle, listener, todd. uncle todd him and my mom Shout out, shout out, shout out Him to and my mom are keeping this podcast alive. Right. Yeah. <laughs> my uncle, Ch- my uncle like Chip like too. Views a week. Oh, Chip, Chip Dundee, Chip Dundee, <laughs> keeping it alive. Get fucked. A hey, sh- props to Uncle Chip. That's how we get the Bears tickets. So hell yeah, Ooh, Uncle Chip. Those Bears nice seats. Bear down. It's gonna be better. Yep. <sighs> it can only get better from here, guys. That is a fact. <laughs> Yeah, so, we're, 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 while recording this, we don't know what happens on the Sunday game. So No, not yet. So the next one will be our reactionary. Yeah. Either celebration or <laughs> rant. <laughs> Praying for a celebration, but most likely it's going to be a rant. Probably. 
Vic Fangio's dialing it up. Mitch Trubisky's not going to go. Well, I, I always want to see what happens with them versus Oakland. If they blow out Oakland and monkey stomp <sighs> Oakland. Let's see. There's no Antonio Brown. Bruh. No, he's a Patriot. Craziness. America's team. He 100% set this in motion from the as soon as he got traded. You think as he was planning it as soon as he got before he even got to the Raiders? 100%. He was playing the long con, and he got him. That's crazy. He didn't have to. Yeah, because they said he was, wasn't he Google searching how to get kicked off a team? (laughs) Pretty much. (laughs) Yeah, he talked to a finance or some YouTube advisor on how to get publicity the wrong way. Yeah, and let's, let's be honest. The helmet thing started. First, it was going into a cryo chamber barefoot. You fucking dummy. So PSA, I'm, don't go in a cryo change, chamber barefoot. Yeah. You'll get frostbite. Yeah, your feet will look like you fucking... <laughs> ugh, just baloney hanging off your heels. <laughs> and then uh, the helmet shit. I'm not playing without my old helmet. And then him and Mayock getting into it. Call him a cracker. Pretty sure Manny <laughs> was used, involved in that. He used it as lube as he fucked you in the butt. So That's I crazy. Agree. That's supposed to be like a hurtful... Like he's Manny's. like thinking like man, what could I call this guy? Cocksucker, motherfucker. Nope, cracker. cracker. <laughs> <laughs> he denies saying it. Mm. It, it. Who cares if he did? Doesn't matter. In all honesty, in in every slang for a white guy, there is cracker is the least offensive to me. <clears throat> cracker, I love them. They're delicious. What are we talking about? Ritz. Nice, delicious. We're talking about a saltine, a trisket. I had this boss, and uh, I I was in his office, and we were talking, and he was, like, joking around. He's like, yeah, (laughs) Peckerwood. And I let him call me that, like, a couple times. And then finally I'm like, dude, do you even know what that means? He's like, no. He just thought it kind of sounded cool. I'm like, that's what they call the skinheads in in prison, (laughs) Peckerwoods. <laughs> I'm like, you probably shouldn't be saying that out loud anymore. It's like, oh, Peckerwood. shit. Like, What's up, Peckerwood? He's probably going up to everyone at the yeah. store. Well, you probably heard it from somewhere random, and he's like, I like the way that sounds. He just starts calling people Peckerwoods. Well, that was like in Clerks, the second one. Yeah. Porch Monkey for Life. <laughs> Bringing it back. I'm taking it back. <laughs> what was it, his grandma? His grandma, yeah. <laughs> Man, my grandma was racist. You think? <laughs> <laughs> Movie reference. Movie reference. Old people just don't give a fuck. They don't. My no. grandma used to just be, we'd be at the hospital. She's up at the the front counter just leaning there. Just, <laughs> just farting up a fucking storm. <laughs> like, grandma, why? Don't give a fuck. I, I told my mom the story about. <laughs> Grandma, you want me to lock the door so you oh, yeah. get raped? <laughs> <laughs> if I could only be so lucky. That's uh, so good. Old people are savages, bro. They They've are. seen a lot of shit. Yes. It's like I love going to like a podunk bar. Some old dude just sitting there by himself. <laughs> he just starts telling all these stories. It's like, Jesus, man, you lived a fucking life, bro. Well, my favorite is the... I saw Led Zeppelin in '72. <laughs> I saw I saw the Rolling Stones before Stars. they were famous. Yeah. yeah, I love those. I saw the name this legendary band here. Yeah, before. Yeah, you know I said. Yeah, well I saw um, Corn. You saw Primus the, at I, I saw Fest. Primus at <laughs> Primus at Rockfest at Twin Lakes. No, it was Hedgepath. Woo! Hedgepath. Hedgepath was the name of that one. Hedgepath. That Hedgepath. was that. That was the one where I was bartending. They didn't pay us, so we lifted a bottle of fucking <laughs> couple bottles of As vodka. You, do. you don't pay. I'm gonna get my pay somehow. But I also saw a fat girl get finger blasted in the fucking. <laughs> In the Fuck. in the beer tent, there was like eight people in the beer tent. It, <laughs> she's just getting worked what? over by this dirt ball fucking guy. Jesus, Frankie, your mom was there. <laughs> Don't think so. And I'm just laughing because I'm making drinks, and I just go, "Hey, you want to bring them a cocktail?" <laughs> the guy turns around, and goes, "Oh God." <laughs> <laughs> 
Because I, I heard something when I walked in here, and I didn't know what it was. What the fuck? I smelt it. Yeah. What kind of oh, hot dog parties? It's a fucking... That was a festival. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking three-day music festival. Oh, Jesus Christ. I did see Rusted Root play, though. Was that was pretty fucking third good. day. Yes. Yeah. Well, that was... I was it, opening I'm going to be honest with you. That was, uh like, the first day at 5 o'clock. It wasn't even dark yet. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was like bright light and we weren't using the indoor lights on inside the tent it oh, was yeah like, hey, let's start this party this chick was just getting fucking knuckle jumped mm. <laughs> in the old clamor just getting it beat <laughs> you set such, such a beautiful picture Sean. i can see it right okay. now you know set the background it's a white tent <laughs> Yep. <laughs> She's leaned against the back of it uh, while the, the guy how's is. How's the breeze though? Is it a hard breeze or a actually, soft breeze? Actually, it, it, it was it was a muggy day because it rained earlier in the day. So Ooh, it was, so it was kind of kind of moisture. Where just have a couple oh, beads God. dripping down your forehead. And okay. she was she was sitting for my view would be in Frankie's section to the left. Oh, okay. And the guy oh, was, was sitting. You? And the guy was sitting to the right of her. Mm. And was doing the old. Damn, he was using his left hand. What no, a no, fucking pro! No, he was using the right. Oh, he was fish hooking. He was fish hooking. God, and, that'll cramp your wrist up and, quick. And I'm not gonna lie to you; it looks like he was one hand speed bagging. You wow. know the speed bag. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what he looked like outside of her. And how did she look? Did she look like she was enjoying it, or she looked like she was on a journey? That's all I care about. As long as she was happy. She she looked like <laughs> what I had imagined she looks like in the cake session at the grocery store. There right. was a little bit of drool. There was a lot of moaning. Really? <laughs> and there was some swearing as in, holy shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a just vivid picture. Uh, this is my kind of party. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, I, I look over at the girl I'm working with. I go, hey, uh. You want to start drinking? Because if this is how this is going to be, we're going to get fucked up to deal with this. <laughs> Fucking a right, brother. So did you bring the cocktails to him or what? No, I didn't leave from behind there. I wasn't going to get fucking... Like stampeded a by our hard and pissed off rhino that didn't bust her nut. He'd probably do that one trick where he puts his hand up by the top of the cup. This, yeah. this beer smells like fucking shit. Oh, you're right. It does. <laughs> Let me get you a fresh one. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This Slurpee smells like yeah. this. <laughs> Movie reference. <coughs> Movie reference. Ooh. Seen any good ones lately? No. I don't know if I'm excited. Still haven't, still haven't finished joysticks. Bro. <laughs> what about fucking Last Blood? Is it really the Last Blood, though? It's got to be. <laughs> Is it, is it really? His heart's not pumping it anymore. It's not going to be last blood. <laughs> the final last blood. No more. But it could be the last blood because there's only three drops left in his, skin, <laughs> his body. I want to see like him and Steven Seagal in like a nursing home movie. No, Wheelchairs don't. of Justice. <laughs> Just combine the names like Blood Siege. <laughs> In a time. In a place. The Expendable Seven. <laughs> Seagal. The nursing homes under his sack. They're all expendable. This guy's got the fucking holding the jello hostage. You got. Uh, <laughs> you got a mess of my jello. And I ain't having it. <laughs> Schwarzenegger roll up get the way from the jello get the <laughs> fine <laughs> hey, you get the way get the jello or not <laughs> that would be a fucking awesome I'd movie. be in bro Stallone <laughs> versus Schwarzenegger no it'd be it'd, it'd be Seagal would be definitely the lead bad guy just mm -hmm. slurping the jello down <laughs> right <laughs> you guys want some of my jello do you so that's how you get so fat <laughs> He's been eating all the jello. Steven, put on the spoon. <laughs> Don't need any more jello. Get out of here. I am going to see it, though. Oh, of course. You well, I mean, Last Blood. Yeah, of, no, I, of course you got to see Last of Blood. Of course. The guys are shooting machine guns at him, and he's got one arrow. 
He's got a four. <laughs> four feet away from each other. He's got one arrow and a crossbow. I'm Whoa. waiting for the new MacGyver movie to come out. MacGyver? Yeah. Do or MacGruber? Do you mean MacGruber? No, MacGyver. MacGyver's got a TV show. You'll never see a movie. Yeah, they didn't make a movie. Yeah. It's a TV show, bro. Well, it'll come eventually. It will. That's what she said. But um, <laughs> <laughs> probably. Not, oh, you though. put your best foot forward there, buddy. Great job. Good try. Good try. Good try, little buddy. <laughs> Good try. Hundred and ten percent. Mm-hmm. I gave it all I could. All I had. Well, maybe it was just a bad night, guys. She wasn't really into it. We're recording this now. Right yeah. now, because now Je- this because when you listen to this, Jeff will be s- at a wedding that his lady is standing up. Holla, in. gonna get if she my, if she's my drink on the, uh, bouquet, which you better tackle I'm the shit get out of her. My groove on, which a hundred percent means Jeff is gonna get yelled at at one point in the night. 200%. All her friends are getting married. Yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> she's like the last one left. The last of the Mohicans. Oh my god! I said, "Wear it, babe, like a badge of honor." You know. <laughs> mm-hmm. She ain't having it. No. One day, guys, I'm gonna have to. It's either that make or a woman out of her. <laughs> it's either that <laughs> an honest woman. Respectable. But oh yeah. In all honesty, it's gonna come down to the point where it's gonna be like misery, and she's gonna kick Jeff down the stairs and break his ankles. Yeah, right. I'm gonna have a fucking two by four between my ankles. Oh she's god! Have a sledgehammer. <laughs> All you got to do is propose. Mm-hmm. Then I could ride it out for like, how long do you think you could ride out a engagement? Engagement, 10 years? Oh, at least. Yeah. If you've lasted this long before the proposal, then yeah, you could probably double it for an engagement. The problem is, is nowadays everybody that gets engaged, it's like three weeks later they're married. Yeah, it's no. Like, dude, what the fuck? How well, we did it at the hall down the street. It no, was nice. No, it's they rush everything and wonder why... Shit goes wrong. We're just gonna go to the courthouse, dude. <laughs> Real, I'm telling you, let's do Vegas. <laughs> no, I don't. People, yeah. Vegas. I mean, That's people what do she's it. Gonna do. She's gonna get him drunk in Vegas or something. Let's get married here. He's you almost did. Gone. So yeah. let's not even yeah. start. You almost oh. got married in the Wisconsin Dells. Is the by chapel of love by yeah. some skank that you banged while her boyfriend was there? <laughs> yeah. I hope she doesn't <laughs> listen to this because she's actually a really nice girl. She's really a real fun lady. In the woods. I banged her <laughs> on the strip in the alley behind the ticket selling booth after I broke my hand on that machine. She nursed you back to health. There is only yeah. one way, babe. Babe. Jeff was a dick. I was banging her in his car on the oh, strip. Oh, but I'm the dick. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I'm the dick. That's a dick move. He, he comes in there and he opens the door and he's like, ah, it's cool. I'm just grabbing my cigarettes. I'm like, uh, all right. I, w- I waited outside. Did you at least car open the window? Some time. No, it was foggy as. Oh, I couldn't there. see inside. I didn't oh, know what was going on. I wanted my cigarettes. I went in there to get cigarettes. So finally, I, I just opened the door and said, "I'm grabbing my cigarettes, <laughs> not looking." And then I bounced. And then Jeff burnt that car. <laughs> I he hasn't did. drove it in like three years. Hmm. You haven't drove that car in like three years. Well, it's kind of hard to stop right now. I don't now. have it. it has, does, does it have brakes? I don't have that car anymore. What car was that? The Trailblazer. Oh, yeah, it was. How dare you. I can't believe well, you drove you that are... car to the Dells with a piece of the rim missing. <laughs> a whole fucking I've been chunk. driving I don't on know. that for I, months. I literally do Dude, not understand we... how that tire held air. It literally physically does not make sense. It had a chunk, a triangle that was like three inches taken out of it. And there was a hole inside the rim. There's no way it should hold air. And he but drove it, it all the way there. We drove that car like that for months. I know. I, I wouldn't have gotten that car gig. if I would have knew that. I had the green goo in there. Oh, yeah, because that held it perfectly. <laughs> the fix a flat green goo. And, I, and literally, that was the funniest thing, though, is you're like, I've been driving this for months like this. I'm like, I can't believe you drove it like that to the Dells. And what happens the next morning? You wake up, and it's on a fucking flat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you couldn't get the spare out of there. Nope. It was rusted on. And we couldn't, like, get it to fucking, like, Walmart. We think we did, right? Did we? Have... No, I had to leave. No, we yeah, went to Walmart. I was and I bought stay. that green goo and then filled it up and it made it all the way home. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Crazy. Hallelujah. That truck. <laughs> That truck had a mind of its own. Dude, that thing got. <laughs> Headlights would just shut shit. the fuck off. Yeah, they would wiggle and. 
It was fucking. Yeah, that, it was an interesting truck. It kept me on my toes, guys. <laughs> had the. It trained me for fatherhood. <laughs> it did. I didn't know what the fuck was gonna happen. Remember, <laughs> pulled up to Manis' house. The fucking it was just pissing gas all over yeah. the place. Mike's I like, think when you started towing the boat is when that thing started going probably. downhill big time. No, it was before that. I mean, it was going down, but it wasn't like it was. No, the lights were shutting off, and when you're driving. <laughs> Losing Luckily, power. they still worked when you put the brights on. So I'd just be passing yeah. everyone. Sorry. Sorry. What a dick. <laughs> I can't believe that cocksucker left his brights on. I didn't have a choice. Yeah, that it was. I, well, I'm just surprised it didn't end up wrapped around any trees coming back from fucking Kenosha. How dare times you? you did. How dare you? Goddamn <laughs> professional. <laughs> He's got a professional way. What? Dude. <laughs> Sketchy. Well, most of the time we waited till. Tater tot hot dishes were being served. Yeah, we we sobered up fairly well. Yeah. Well, we'd go hang out at Styles' house till till Burger great King opened at six great. in the morning. <sighs> then we get the tater tot hot dish. Good time. Cheesy tots. Cheesy tots. They don't make them anymore. They did. Me and my lady. She's like, oh, they got the cheesy, uh, the cheesy tots. I'm like, fuck yeah. So we go through the drive-thru. It's right there on the screen. I can see them. I'm like, yeah, let's do this. Get them cheesy tots. Yeah, we don't have those. They sold like, out. What? Sold out. No, they stopped. You know, oh. they bring them back for a limited time. Well, then take it off the fucking screen. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. You know, I, I agree with that statement. It's, it'd be, it's like, you know, the Popeye's chicken bullshit. Papa's. Go up there, get a chicken sandwich, and they're always sold out. What's with who started that? Isn't there like a big beef between Chick Fil A and? Well, it's because Chick Fil A, because Chick Fil A was like stay in your lane. Supposedly, they're being sued for that biscuit sandwich. Delicious it's a false biscuit. advertisement. It's not available ever. Who's getting sued? Uh, the new, it's I think it's Popeye's chicken. They came out with a new chicken sandwich, and it was supposed to be so amazing. You just said biscuit sandwich. You said biscuit sandwich. Whatever. Sir. That's Same what we're shit. talking about right now. Right. The chicken sandwich. But the dude. I, I understand your time him. traveling, but focus. <laughs> I well, my mic fell over. <laughs> you still got headphones on. Focus. All right, yeah, because you I told the, you told us this about this the other day. Now what? Because it's not really the chicken that's spicy, right? It's, it's the, the mayo. Rain, or, it's, yeah, it's uh, the, the, the sauce. sauce on it. So sauce. it's spicy sauce. Yeah. So it's basically a chicken sandwich, and With then you sauce. squirt the jizz on there, and, they and can't then it's get called spicy jizz. ranch. They're out Why of jizz. not? I don't know, but people are upset about it. <laughs> you want to know what the bigger, bigger news story is than the chicken sandwich? Why? Bigger. Almost running out of white claw. The oh, white claw supply is. Oh really? Basic bitches are going oh, great. They're scrambling, bro. There's, they're there, building bunkers. There's people right now stocking up. Stocking up the white claw. Is supply. that advertising th- poll too, though? Like we're Probably. running out of white claw. Go That's buy like as Twinkies. much as you can. Twinkies are going to be gone. So Frankie had a whole pantry full of Twinkies. Oh my god! Because <laughs> he was going to sell them on eBay. I was, and then we got drunk one night and came home. Let's open a box, and they were all fucking moldy, nasty. So I thought they were supposed heard to last Twinkies forever. last forever. It's a lie. lie. Yeah, well, if goddamn you lie. Don't keep them in a cool, dry place. I mean, it, it's kind of cool. It's like 70 degrees in the pantry. Isn't that like an oxymoron? Cool, dry. Cool, dry. It is, but it's... <laughs> it makes sense, all right? It's a cool, it's it's what it says on the box. Store in a cool, dry place. Hmm. So which is it? Where would a cool, dry place be? Fridge? The bottom of your heart, you son of a bitch. Uh, shots fired. Bang, bang! <laughs> I've never had either one, Chick Fil A or Popeyes. Chick Fil A is good as fuck. So Popeyes sandwich. Good too. I mean, never I, had Chick Fil A. I heard it's fucking amazing. Chick Fil A is awesome, but the problem is, is not open on Sundays. That's bullshit. That's the Lord's Day. How dare you? How dare you? You don't eat chicken on Sunday. No. Actually, that's when you eat chicken. Is Sunday? Well, then why aren't they open? Because, because it's the Lord's Day. Because they don't want any of their because employees sweet, working. Because sweet baby Jesus, that's his that's his day. Eight pounds, you understand six now? I like the baby When we go better. to church and we celebrate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we can't be we can't be uh, busy in ourselves with chicken. <laughs> Do you understand? 
Yeah, and, and, you, and don't and don't be gay going into that place either. And don't even think about holding hands with your boyfriend either, because <laughs> that's the demon's work. You know who else has hands? The devil. And you know what he uses them for? Holding. Holding. <laughs> <laughs> I crossed. Can't wait. Can't wait for this proper twelve to come to me. <laughs> <laughs> Jedi mind for it so you're far. Trying I'm trying to use the fucking Jedi. Oh. What if it did just hop in my hand right now? Would you guys shit your pants? I probably would. Well, it wouldn't take much. What do you mean? For me you to lose shit my shit right my right pants. <laughs> yeah. Sean's not doing the greatest. Dude, uh, this weight loss challenge is great, but I'm cutting out all the shit that usually soaks up the that stomach. That binds you up. Yeah. yeah, so now you're just. I'm melting it, right now. It's just letting it all flow. We know you're melting. Am I falling Frankie. out of this chair? You're in a box. <laughs> you're in a box. You're in a box. You're See, in I a feel box. like I got to keep looking up because I keep falling behind. This. Mellow. 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 Fuck. How is the cosmos? Yeah, how you feeling, bud? <laughs> if you can see the smile. <laughs> Beautiful. That, Beautiful that, smile. Doesn't help our listeners. They can't see the smile. I'm Tell us what you're going through right now. Yeah. Talk about it. your journey. Right now, my Where'd entire you start? body is tingling. When you left this planet, where did you go first? <sighs> I was on Zertron. <laughs> is that, a, is that Zertron. like a, is that like a knockoff TV company from Korea? <laughs> did uh, L. Ron Hubbard come to you in a dream? It's up there by the Tell stars. Tell you about Zeno and the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they have these <laughs> diamond crystals right now that have energy. Oh. And right now, without the sun, they're losing power. And they need to repower their planet. So I'm working on a new, a new, new power sun? supply. Yeah. A new sun? I'm building a new sun. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right now for the civilization. It's going to be a, it's gonna be an LED. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to use mirrors. less electricity. Yeah. I'm going to use the power. Mirrors, like I've seen it in India. There's just going to be there's just going to be a billion trillion mile extension cord. To That's a good this. idea. I feel, I feel tingly all over. I feel like I want to lay down, and um, I feel like I can't reach this mic. I feel like I'm constantly falling. You're there. You got it. You sound wonderful. You're oh, very it's pleasant he's sounding. <laughs> I feel uh, so good. I wish I wasn't on this journey alone. Space yeah. journey. I remember I was on a journey. I, space I, to journey. Early. I think I might have said this, but we had a bunch of mushrooms. And uh, I ended up eating a ton and ton one night with this girl. And a, a literal bunch of ton. Like, it was a, the whole well, it was, was one of those. Of where you, it was one of those moments, again, where you take some <laughs> and then you can't feel it. So you so take, you take more. more, you don't feel it, and you take more. You oh. just take a little and then wait. I remember the worst when it kicked in, and I was sitting on a chair rocking, and I saw a big-ass cap, and I picked it up and threw it in the air and caught it with my mouth and started to choke. <laughs> <laughs> and then I started to freak out, so I like sat down and grabbed my gallon of orange juice and started chugging. <laughs> and every time I took a sip, I just got like more and more fucked up. Just Why like, was that? Is that like it's like an intensifier, something with the and uh, orange juices? With yeah, the vitamin C <laughs> brings it out, and I could like hear and feel every drink. It's and, an intensifier. Oh, I hated just it. what I needed. Yeah. So then when I sat up, <laughs> let me just throw some gasoline down, on this fire. I thought it was something like mellowing, like when you eat spicy food, <laughs> no. yeah. you have milk. No, I was just choking and eating something to drink. <laughs> So, so then when I stopped chugging, I looked down. So there's yeah. like six people staring back at my face, like all weird. And then I felt just not right. I ended up going to the bathroom for like 35, 45 minutes. Got lost in the shower curtain because it had a bunch of lines all over it and the mirrors. And yeah, my fucking my <laughs> weed jar. I had a little pill bottle full of like a big nug in there. And I'm looking at it and I wanted to smoke. But then the nugget turned into a troll. He started pounding on the glass, and he's like, let me out. And I was like, I can't. You're too angry. Stay in there. So uh, I was pretty twisted, and I remember this is going on for about 12 hours now, and oh, I'm Jesus going through the Christ. waves. And I was literally like a couple of blocks from your house, and I called you at like 630 in the morning, and I'm like, dude, I'm fucking tweaking out. I'm twacking hard on some mushrooms. Like, 
will you come pick me up? Nope. <laughs> he tells ride, me no nope, and hangs up bitch. the yep, he's like you fucking made your bed you lay in it <laughs> and I'm like nah are you serious and he hangs up and I'm like no fucking way you called him at 6 o'clock in the morning and I'm sure he was fucking dude I was like possibly he, hung over from the night he before. said no it was like the end of the world so finally I like sobered up me and this girl get in my car I'm glad she, to see you made it yeah happy you're here <laughs> Stop rubbing my shoulder. <laughs> so we, we get in the car and we're driving back and she's like, you're good. You're fine. She she honestly made me get through the night. She just was so nice rubbing my back and comforting me the did whole time. Did she bring you a Coke? Did she bring you a she Coke? She did. She got me, got, up, got me a Coke, got me, stayed me hydrated and rubbed my back. We were watching the Yellow Submarine. Fucking oh, God. Sweet. Dude, all the girls there were like, turn this off. I'm going to throw up. I can't watch it anymore. <laughs> It was crazy. We were pretty fucked up. So we're driving, and I'm like, I'd be cool. I'm like, I just don't want to see a cop. As soon as I get to the T in, in town, mm. there's a cop sitting at the subway. And, of course, he, my car, how it looks, he follows me. And I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm freaking out. I'm like, he's behind me. She's like, you're okay. You're, you're okay. You you're driving this. straight. Just just keep driving normal. Don't speed. You're all right. And I'm like, am I all right? And she's like, you're all right. And she coached me through it. We got fucking, we got home and he turned around eventually and it was a good night. But uh, I don't think I want to do though? those again. Was it a good <laughs> night? Guess, it, was, it was a journey. It was an experience. We decided to go outside in the middle of the night and it was like raining and dark and the trees looked crazy. God, like, you guys like torturing yourselves, huh? Bro, we were on a journey. Yeah, yeah you can't just sit in mellow and enjoy the ride we no. tried no and that's when we were watching just, the let's movie. intensify let's everything yeah. <laughs> here by the way the house is on fire let's go put it out with gasoline is basically what you guys were doing the owner of the house actually hid all the bags at the end of the night and he was like no more <laughs> we can't eat anymore because we were eating it for like five hours straight like we poured them everyone had an ounce and everyone poured them on the table and everyone was just picking out the best stuff we 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 weighed everything out we all ate about a quarter each dude the bathroom had to stink so oh bad my God. The next day bro orange juice and mushroom <laughs> shit <laughs> Oh. I was so lost in the shower curtain. In the eyes of the <laughs> Could you even imagine? The oh smells? god, worse than the shit house door on the tuna. Board. I don't even mm-hmm. actually remember taking like a piss or anything. Yeah, because you just kept pissing yourself. Maybe, <laughs> maybe with all that crazy shit my going on. Soaked. I'm on this journey. That's probably where they were all looking at you. They're like, "Wow, look at the fucking puddle in the front of his pants." <laughs> He yeah, plastic. They have plastic. Under. I do remember someone showed up who wasn't on shrooms, and he like almost got in a fight at the bar. And he came in, and he was, oh motherfucker! I was gonna. I was just like, uh. We actually told him that he had to leave because he was too angry. And he was fucking up the vibe there. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? We're like, bro, you're like really fucking angry, bro. You're at a ten. We need you at a four. Right. We're all tweaking hard <laughs> right now. Yeah, you you came walking in on this zen peaceful party with your which really wasn't negative, that peaceful with, with your negative rage aspects of life. I feel man. like it was a bunch of people that were like just staring at each other. There was a point where it was like no one said anything for 15 20 minutes. Everyone was just looking at each other. And then my buddy gets up and he's like I'm going to put some music on. So of course he puts on some like fucking crazy you know the Beatles and trippy music that I'm just like, well at least he didn't put on like fucking Rain and Blood by Slayer. Yeah, no shit. Just, that would have been a rough ride. <laughs> just, just flip red lights on Jesus all throughout the Christ. I would have been looking at that troll in my pill jar like, fuck you. I'm getting in. Move, move over, move troll. Over, I do. Troll. I do remember though. I Let think I shook in. it really hard to tell him to stop and calm down. Did he? I don't remember. He was a weed butt after that again. You shook the demon out of him. <laughs> Maybe that was something in your... You ever think about that night? Maybe that was something in your subconscious that wanted telling to, you something about yourself. Yeah. That I have a troll that's very angry, trapped away. Yeah. Maybe. Man, you weren't listening to the universe. You, were you just, weren't. You were just like, fuck you, troll. I was just you should have <laughs> You should have had a conversation <laughs> with the troll. Well, you guys want to help me and get back to that spiritual level so I could try to... 
You're there. Well, let's uh, close your eyes right and now? let's take you back. No way. Right now, I'm, I'm gonna trying to hold down. myself up. I'm going to count down from 10. <laughs> ten. I'm going to speak in a very ten, calm, soothing, monotone voice. Nine, eight, eight, seven, seven, seven six, Now you're getting very sleepy. Five, now when I get four, to one, I'm going to snap my fingers. Three, two, and you're going to be back there. <laughs> I'm the troll gremlin. Let me out of this bottle, motherfucker. I am the weed troll. <laughs> let oh. me out. Will you let me out of this <laughs> fucking bottle? <laughs> you can't. I can't see it in my head. <laughs> you, my you shook me. You shook me so vigorously. You knocked my little head off. <laughs> You know, why? I, you know what I think I was yeah. scared of? <laughs> yeah, I was scared of the anyway, Leprechaun right. movie when I was growing up as a kid. Bruh. Fucking just freaked me out. You know. And it, Chucky. It's the whole little person thing because they could do damage to your undercarriage is what is the big thing. No, I worked with a guy that was, a, that was afraid of midgets, whatever little people, and we were at work. You insensitive prick. I just said it. I just, don't make me feel bad right now, Sean. We're going to get so many letters. Just get it out. <laughs> it's little person. Are they unposted notes? <laughs> that was, they're right. they're <laughs> sent by Carrier Pigeon. <laughs> and we were at work, and I was we're standing at the counter, and like I'm looking at my buddy, and I kind of you know look at him and give him a nod to like turn around. <laughs> and he turns around, and he's so afraid of little people. I don't know. He just something about He's like, it weirds him out. And he turns around and he yeah. actually screamed like a little girl. There was one there. He was like, ah! <laughs> and like, <laughs> I, dude, I turned around and walked away. Where was this at? It was at uh, the last dealership I was at. Oh, I thought it was, it was at It was CBS. my drive manager. No. Oh, God. It was so fucking funny. And then, like, I was like, you know, they got to come back to pick up their car. And he's like, dude, seriously? He's like, you're such an asshole. He's like, I got a weird fucking phobia about this, and you've always got to fuck with me. Because I told him one time that I was scared of Warwick Davis, the leprechaun, who also was oh, a actor who played. Oh, I, I thought you were going to say I was afraid of working, but I show up every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just show up to get a... I'm just here so I don't get fined. Oh, Marshawn. <laughs> Listen, My sister... I'll go ahead. Listeners, do me a favor. Go on YouTube and type in Pat McAfee interviews Marshawn Lynch and enjoy that. Enjoy that shit. Enjoy that. Enjoy that shit. Because Marshawn Lynch is a fucking gem of a human. <laughs> gem. <laughs> he is amazing. Shine light bright like a diamond. There you go. So what was your <laughs> your sister now you were saying? Oh, we were talking about little people. My sister uh, went to school with a little yes. person. Mallory. And... uh she had this trick where she would stand there and then she would kick her foot up and kick herself in the forehead. <laughs> for smokes. <laughs> yeah, for, for cigarettes. Smokes. So one day up at the skate park, she does it and knocked herself out. <laughs> no way. She oh, got yeah. a good kick in. Oh, no. She kicked herself right in the forehead, knocked herself out. Did she like backflip almost on the way down? Or <laughs> no, she just, just fucking brought her foot up, bonk, right in the forehead and then just fell over. <laughs> Bro. She got up, though. How, after how long? I don't know. Did you help her? Yeah, we were like, hello, hello. <laughs> Snapping our fingers. Wow. She eventually got up. She she was fine. She has a cracked skull from has her she ever done it again? I don't remember if she ever did it again. <laughs> I honestly don't. I don't even remember what happened to her. I remember seeing her walk around, and she was gone. Yeah, she was at my house like, all the time. Like someone stole the pot of gold, and the leprechaun was gone. Wow. Maybe she was moving it. Who oh. knows? Uh oh. Oh. What's going on here? Squeaky birds? Yeah, don't worry about that sound in the background. That's not us murdering any children. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Bella the Savage? <laughs> yeah, I was pretty impressed with uh, your daughter riding on two wheels now. Fuck I mean, yeah, it's bro. Pretty crazy. Training wheels are old news. She's a She's boss. A big girl now. Oh, shit. Her training wheels were literally only there to save her when she was drifting her bike around the corner. Oh, was, yeah. What was she 180s. in kindergarten, too? Yeah. yeah. Oh. School all day. Heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Crazy time flies. It is sad. My little girl. 
She seems to be mellowing. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you don't live with her, so. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> She's not mellowing. She's getting more <laughs> sauvage as the days as the days turn. Uh, like I said, I just hope this all gets out of her system before she hits high school. No, I'm telling you, she's going to be a savage for a couple more years, and then she'll hit a period where she will be like, she'll want to like, I'll, I'll clean and I'll take care of the baby, I'll take care of the puppy, and I'll do this and I'll do that, and she'll want to be like mommy, and then she'll hit like eleven, twelve, and, and then, then she'll get her period. And I'm just all enjoying hell it. I am just enjoying world. it now because I know she's going to get to an age where I, she's just going to be constantly telling me to go fuck myself. Right. Yep. So right now I'm just enjoying it. Get out of my room, Dad. Soak it up, man. Get out of here, Dad. Get out of here, Dad. Dad, Dad, you're so embarrassing. Oh, my so yeah, God. Like, why, that's you know, be you just enjoy thing. the times we watch a movie, cuddle on the couch, and I just think to myself, like, man, she's going to be telling me to go fuck myself in, <laughs> in a couple of years, so I'm just going to enjoy this. Take it while you can get it, man. Yeah, as soon as she hits second grade, it's over. Go fuck yourself, Dad. <laughs> not doing my homework. God. God I do God, feel I like, though, I'm... she's constantly going to be like, Dad, you're so embarrassing. You, oh, 100%. You are just such. Oh, my God. Well, that's why I'm She's training her to be crazy. She's got to do with us, too. I know, right? Anyone that comes around is fucking Her screwed. first boyfriend is going, oh, God, I cannot wait for homecoming. Oh, that, oh, <laughs> oh that my God. Fella. I could still go to homecoming, right? No, I cannot wait for all of us to be here. <laughs> right. <laughs> like the scene from Bad Boys? <laughs> oh, 100%. Oh, you 30. <laughs> well, fuck it, you look 30. 15? <laughs> New Bad Boys, too, coming out. Speaking Ooh. of movies, uh, you know, Bad Boys for Life. It Will, looks a little extreme. Will, Ride together, Will die Smith, together. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence must need a paycheck. They, I bet they really don't, but... Martin Lawrence might. Yeah. Will Smith has been yeah. in everything. Yeah, Will, Will, those kids ain't getting shit. Will's like, it's all going. You know what's crazy, though? I saw some video of Will Smith just recently. He was on some... I don't know if it was that recent, but it was a video of him and his family and this and that, and like he pulls out his phone, and the fucking screen's all shattered and shit. I'm like, man, you fucking Will Smith. Like, get a new phone. I like that, though. He was, That's down to earth, it, man. Yeah. Man, fuck Holy that. Shit. Everyone's got insurance on their phone. It was funny. I was talking with my cousin, the one I like. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, he's not the one that's uh, the was not listening. And well, no, my it's my uncle Todd and my aunt Jan. They're both. They're the youngest. She's the youngest out of all the kids. So they live. A, they're traveling all the time. Like their Facebook. They're gypsies. Ba- kind of. It's now they they both basically work online. So they can oh, go everywhere. I work. thought they were like no following. That fish would be around. really cool though to have a job that you can do that. I think. Yeah, that'd be fucking. That you awesome. got paid well enough that like you can do yeah. that. So my cousins tell me she's like, yeah, I didn't even have cable growing up. They were so strict; they wouldn't even buy cable. As soon as I moved out, they got cable, they got <laughs> flat screens. They go on vacation all the time. Shit, when I was growing, up, we didn't do any of that None shit. Of that. They were just shit. saving all the money. Yeah. As soon as this fuckers move out. <laughs> And We're going to fucking start living our lives. And, and I looked at her and I said, you know how to budget your money now, don't you? She goes, I never thought of it that way, but yes, 100%. Hell yeah. So her kids are going to be. Yeah. So they might have been strict, but they were setting her up to be a fucking success. And I and I applaud them for that. Well, pay yourself. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, are you all right? <laughs> I'm okay. You sure? Pay yourself first. That was one thing that my grandfather always told me. And Pay yourself first. Yeah, out of every yeah. check I've ever gotten, I've always had fifty dollars taken out and put in an account that I never touch. So, can I have a question? For, I have a question. So, like, when you jerk off, do you tip yourself? Mm. Like, do you reach your pocket, and be like, "Hey, good job, buddy," and put it in the other pocket? You know it. Why? Well, yeah, you, you don't. gotta pay yourself. Why, why wouldn't you? No, I, that's that's a free. That's free. It's a free ninety nine hand job. Two ninety nine is too expensive. <laughs> Dude, you're fucking pushing the envelope. You could do free ninety nine myself. I could do it myself. <laughs> oh, movie reference. Movie <laughs> reference. Oh, just the black light scene. <laughs> Chin is just mm. covered. You know they haven't had any like good, crazy, funny, stupid movies. Like stupid humor, funny movies. Well, Marvin Marlon Wayans is coming out with a uh, movie on Netflix where he's doing all the characters. I seen all that. what characters. His he's they were adopted 
and he's going and finding all of his siblings, and he's playing all the siblings. There's the fat one, like Eddie Murphy did, like yeah. the Nutty Professor, yeah. where he pay, yeah. played like the mom, the clumps. And, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I guess we'll have to see how that is. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's gonna be a giant pile of shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like when Adam Sandler played him and his sister. Oh my Jack god, and Jack Jill. and Jill. That was one of oh. the worst movies of all time. <laughs> Never oh. seen that. Yeah, oh, don't <laughs> don't save yourself. The he trouble. was. It was one of those ones where it was like any go any script they gave Adam Sandler was turning to gold, and then they handed him that. They're like, yeah, well, here's a big piece of shit. Let's see <laughs> if you can make this work. <laughs> Guess what? It didn't work. There was a big piece of shit. I do like a lot of his movies. Paycheck. Oh yeah, hundred percent. What was that crazy story? So there's this script. I don't know. Sean, you got the Google, right? You got your phone out? No, I will, but what? There's this, look up this script. There's a script. It's like called the Cursed Script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one so, that Farley read. Then the, Everybody read. So John, John Candy read it and Chris Farley read it. Well, and Belushi then, read it first. And Belushi read And it John first. Belushi agreed to do the movie, and then he ended up passing away. And John Candy ended up reading the script and agreeing to it. He died. Like Chris uh, Farley read the script. He died. That's so crazy. like everyone's fucking scared to agree to do this movie, and I guess of uh, Kevin James, um, they like approached him about it. And <laughs> He's like, "Fuck, fuck you. no!" <laughs> so you just have to agree to the movie, and then you're uh, you know, here. It is shot. Well, first yeah. movie script that killed every actor attached in 1963. Canadian author Pen- Mordecai. Canadian author Mordecai Richter, not Richter, Richter. Lur. Penned a novel, The Incomparable Atuk. Atuk. That's what it was. Yeah. The book is the story of a Canadian Inuit who finds himself on a strange in a strange world, the big city of Toronto. So basically it was you're paying you're gonna play somebody out of the backwoods going to the big city. Yeah. <laughs> Don't read the script. Don't read Don't. the script. <laughs> read it. Don't read it. I wouldn't have a problem. That's fucking crazy, though. That shit ain't true, but... Well, I mean, as far as, like, curses it's, it's a strong and bullshit, but it's fucking though. weird as fuck, right? Right. Well, it's a coincidence they all did, you know, heroin, too. <laughs> Blue, she was a speedballer, sir. Yeah, I'm all sorry. Right. He, he liked doing coke and heroin at the same time because mm. he liked the elevator no, effect. I just man. never get how those the conversations elevator. come up. Hey, guys, next weekend we hang out. Let's just uh, do some... Uh, Heroin. Sound like a good idea? And then yeah. someone is, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, I'll bring the Coke so we just even it out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Sounds like a great time. Fucking. I idiot. just watched Blues Brothers again. I seen great that on movie. last night. It's such a good movie. It's, it is a fucking it's awesome so movie. It's so good. That the scene where he's just chugging the bottle of, of Night Train, <laughs> just <laughs> drinking the wine, and uh, Dan Aykroyd's trying to get laid by the chick in the uh, convertible. Twiggy was her name. Twiggy, but yeah, that there's just so many scenes. You guys had your Blues Brothers moment. Yeah, uh, you guys uh, get two hundred and fifty dollars for DJing the night, but uh, you drank three hundred and fifty dollars worth of booze, <laughs> so you always had your bucks. Hundred percent. What? Hundred percent. How does that happen? The fucking Blues Brothers of the DJ business. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite scene from Blues Brothers. Is the the Ray Charles scene. I don't know why. I cannot. When the be... guy goes to steal the guitar. Yeah, and he shoots the the, the little kid. <laughs> yeah, the little kid. Shame to see it. one that young go that bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's so many good. I mean, Aretha Franklin and. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, this is a good movie. It, it, John Candy was in that one. It's the biggest uh, car pile up ever in a movie. <laughs> yeah, Something like 96 shit. cop cars are fucking smashed. That's, in that's that one movie. of the best parts about that movie is first off, if you love Chicago like we do, you're like, oh, I've been there. Right. Yeah. I've been there. All I the, know where like they're the at. Scenery. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And then, yeah, then <laughs> just that movie, that movie holds a special place in my heart. And I cannot be, if I'm in a shitty mood and I'm put Blues Brothers on, I'm out of that shitty mood. Take yeah, I watch Fast and the Furious over that. I was thinking, what other movies are coming out? Because there's, there's the uh, Joker that's coming out that looks pretty fucking cool. Mm-hmm. You guys are talking about Buzzsport. Uh, it Chapter Two. It's I out see right that. now. It is out right now. Yeah, it's been out. Fuck. 
What other stuff's coming out for Halloween? I seen something I can't remember. All I know is Zombie Land Two. That's gonna be good. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm I, curious to see because, dude, Avatar was fucking a great movie when it came out. The special effects were ridiculous, especially seeing it in fucking 3D. It's it's something where why not just leave it? Why you gotta make a second one? Because you see that money. Because, yeah, it's all about because that. James Honest, James Cameron needs to drop another. Twenty-seven billion dollars to drop to the bottom of the ocean again. So I'm saying, bro, yeah. maybe Titanic two is that going to be next? <laughs> oh well, God! The I return of Jack the again. The this return is, of Jack. This is, this is a good way to uh, kind of wrap up the podcast about the Titanic. They uh, were just down there again. I was watching a news thing on it. Yeah, and it's it's fucking. It's not going to be there much longer. Oh, it's like decomposing and yeah, shit. Yeah, it's there's it's rough. Really? Yeah. Aren't they making... They're making one, right? They're supposedly making... Like, remaking the, the Titanic. The Titanic, like, yeah. up to scale. What's Does crazy it? is that that thing is, like, if you see a picture of the Titanic and then a cruise ship now, the Titanic is so fucking small. It's ridiculous. Yeah, right. <laughs> cruise ships now are huge. Well, yeah, huge. I was... The one I was on, It's called. it was the Norwegian Dawn. And it dong? Was dong? Dong. D- <laughs> D-A-W-N. <laughs> The Norwegian dong. Yeah, it was shaped as a giant cock. Wow. But, <laughs> we were but, sitting in the balls. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but that ship held some, uh, like, fucking 10,000 people. Dude, it it's crazy. So they got crazy fucking crazy huge, like, huge I love going theaters. On ships. Yeah, the theaters. They got all the different Casinos. restaurants. The casino. They got the bars. See, everybody shits on cru- cruises. No, they're awesome. Dude. I don't need to be on the Sandals island for rocks. more than five fucking minutes. Right. And then you get to see multiple places. My favorite thing about the cruise ship, which is like kind of like the scary effect, is when you go out on the deck at night and it's pitch black and you're looking at the stars and out at the ocean, you can't see land for fucking miles. Mm. It's and the- I'm just thinking about this bitch sinking. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's a lot of blue. It's, it is, but it's scary, but it's kind of cool and exciting and beautiful and, you know, tr- I guess a little tranquil. It, like it is. I I enjoy the cruise. Uh, plus, I enjoy being able to go and eat at any time. Right. There's they got the buffet that's open like you know all day. They got the different restaurants. It's it, there's so much it offers, and then you get to see multiple islands. You know, you stop at like the Bahamas. You stop at St. Thomas. Well, or, let let's be honest. We ain't going to the Bahamas anytime soon. No, after. that shit's wrecked. No, rest in peace. Right. That's fucking. S- fucking sad is it i couldn't imagine dude just getting all my shit just wiped Destroyed out Destroyed everything well it's the whole fuck. town city that you lived in, yeah. on and literally in literally a minute and a half like what do you do they got pounded for 12 hours straight jesus yeah, christ dude. well you know what though 12. what's crazy is like if you did hear this shit like why don't you evacuate ever they were man yeah <laughs> but you're on an island what are you gonna evacuate to yeah. Another fucking island? You would have seen me out in a boat in a, like a dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No way. I could, could you yeah, with the, trying with to the, like, get on the with water? With the 40-foot swells? Yeah, dude. Like, the, Oh, God. I can't. It's so horrible. So, yeah, if you can, help uh, help out and donate. I'm sure they got the yeah, fun. Donate to the Red Cross. And, yeah. You'd be like Lieutenant Dan out there. Fuck you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you call this a storm. <laughs> like us all on the picnic table in the Dells with the microburst. Fuck it. Jeff sleeping in his tent. Mm, I fought it. Hey. Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> I just <laughs> Knock it off, you assholes. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Where is everybody? Oh, fuck. They're all dead. <laughs> Good times. Good times. Fuck yeah, boys. They're all dead. And the good times are going to keep on rolling. Yeah, I mean, week by week. Every week day on this day. podcast, just oh, side note, we're talking about times. crash cars. I I have a hard time watching Dukes of Hazard, just watching those challengers get destroyed, uh, dying slow uh, death. Got the American classic. Well, that's like <laughs> watching the remake, the movie with Knoxville and. You know, I actually like that movie. I, I Sean Williams. My yeah, favorite Sean part Williams is stuff. when they're fighting in the bar and he comes flying with the helmet. <laughs> the fucking knock the dude out. And, like everyone stops fighting. He's just like whoa. <laughs> you want to know what my favorite part is in the perfect way to end the podcast this week? Mm. Jessica mm. Simpson's titties. Oh mm. my god, mm. was she amazing mm. in that movie? Dino Mike. 
die no my oh how the mighty have fallen this, is this <laughs> chicken i have here is this fish i know it's fish but it says chicken of the sea <laughs> <laughs> the look on the look on lachey's face dude. <laughs> forever oh, burnt God. into my mind yep beautiful piece of art though <sighs> mm. oh she was hey you know what her looks sister, don't last forever her sister was good too <gasps> gotta have a personality but, you though. know Till she started lip syncing and doing the jig on Saturday yeah. Night Live. It's over. It so, over. in summary, don't do the jig when they play the wrong song for you to lip sync to on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe your career will last. Yeah. For Frankie, for Jeff, I am Sean. Thanks for listening. See you again next week. Woo. Here from the Gentleman's Den. Love you. Good night. Bye bye.